County. This is Councilman Brett Sanders going over 11-16-21's council meeting. Uh, again, we had uh, several third readings, and it seems kind of monotonous, a, a fee and lieu agreement or an expansion agreement, but it shows uh, how well our economic development department is uh, recruiting. It shows how industries that are here now like being here and continue to expand. We had a fee and lieu agreement, uh, Project Limestone, spending $31 million in Anderson County. They're doing a 1 million square foot warehouse, spec warehouse with plans to continue. And that's good to hear. We also had um, third reading Duke Energy on a easement on a piece of property to help them with their communications and, and power distribution. We also, uh, Project Storybook, which was a Greenville project that the county uh, goes into a joint county uh, industrial park and the county will be able to receive 1% of the, the tax revenue that that generates and it's a reciprocal relationship between Anderson County and Greenville. Uh, third reading, again, what I was saying earlier, a lot of companies, you know, Start continuing here and growing here and developing here, which we have Milliken that's been here for years. They're doing a $2.5 million expansion on three different facilities. One was the Garish plant in Pendleton, the finishing plant, and well, the Garish is in San, uh, Pendleton, but and then the finishing plant in Pendleton, and also the third one was uh, in Williamston. So great to see uh, an existing company uh, still thriving in Anderson County and continuing to grow, expand, and create more job opportunities. Uh, second reading was, uh, again, uh, Project Equinox, which is a project that is in a opportunity zone, the old Equinox mill site. I'm sure people's driven by there and, and see the debris and bricks and stuff piled up out there. Uh, the county sold that property to a developer that's going to spend $39 million doing uh, uh, housing there, multifamily housing, uh, some commercial stuff, uh, parks. So it's good to see that uh, those areas are starting to come back to life and, and a project of this nature will breathe life back in uh, into that area and help actually uh, bring more people into downtown Anderson. It's interesting to change the space of the city. Oh, you? yes. And then, uh, well, you saw tonight, first reading, we had one. It was called um, Project Chemtech, which is uh, a project off of Murray Avenue, and that is a an old piece of property that uh, companies coming in. You know, just like uh, the Project Equinox, it's already breathing light into to other projects similar to that nature. you got Project Chemtechs, which was a $29 million investment that we worked with the city on helping to uh, promote the deal. I think uh, Councilman John Wright Jr. has been uh, working hand in hand with the city and shows a great collaboration and partnership with, with city council and their administration as well. It is a $29 million investment, 126 units, also with some commercial space. And it's going to create 30 to 50 new jobs plus some uh, housing and help breathe more life into the city. It was the gateway to the city. So that's, that's going to be a good project. And I'm excited seeing, you know, not only the economic development, but, you know, there's there's a housing shortage and, and apart, affordable housing and apartment shortages in, you know, not only Anderson County, but across the United States. So I think... Um, those types of investments coming in help to offset or not really offset but help to uh, collaborate or work with the development on economic development side so you know as you have these people coming in and companies creating jobs you know the people coming and to working here they, they've got to have somewhere to live and i think uh we're starting to see it move hand in hand. It's a good collaboration between economic development and the, the residential side of it. Um, also, we had a typical uh, uh, rezone change on 29 acres from C1 highway commercial uh, to residential mixed use, and that's going to be some more residential with some commercial allowed in as well. Yeah. That's out uh, of Hopeful in 81. Yeah. That's a pretty good area. Yeah, so great area. Need housing. We also uh, had a second reading on uh, donating some property to the city or town of Williamston, Williamston and that property was uh, 
kind of a, an abandoned property that um, the, the town of Williamston can uh, revitalize and help it fit into the surroundings better and actually create opportunities for the town of Williamston. I'm glad to see that they uh, we voted to allow them to take that property. Uh, we also had uh, another investment of $93 million, and that was under Project Aardvark, and it's going to uh, uh, create 10 jobs on a $93 million investment, and it is a, a company that's here now in Anderson County. So, you know, not only we're, we're bringing in uh, or recruiting, you know, higher-paying jobs, careers, not jobs. I mean, we're, there, there's careers out here now. And uh, like I said, economic development does a great job bringing them in. But the thing is, you see that the existing companies here are the companies that have been here they're able to thrive and survive here and actually grow and expand. And, and I think that's, that's, that's the key, you know. It's not as much, you know, trying to bring more companies in, but it is trying to provide an environment for companies that's here now to succeed. And I think you and I discussed earlier, um, not only that, but you have the entrepreneurial spirit from local shops and vendors and things of that nature. And we had a discussion about sh shopping local earlier. And at this time of the year, is more uh, relevant now to be mindful of the fact of, of shopping local. And, you know, out of $100 spent, $68 stays in Anderson County. And, you know, you get online and buy online. Well, the, the property or sales tax that you're paying online is going to some other state. So as you spend locally, the sales tax, the monies of that nature are being spent back in Anderson County in South Carolina. So it's, it's a big picture, but it all ties in together. And it all starts at the local level. And get out, support your local uh, businesses, your help promote the entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, you're gonna get treated better because the people you're doing business with, you're gonna see every day. And it's not like uh, some box retail store that doesn't doesn't give back or contribute back, which we discussed again earlier. Uh, your local businesses are contribute back to uh, the community two times greater than a box or chain store would. So. You know, you know, think national, but shop local. Uh, also tonight, uh, Chairman Tommy Dunn from District 5 formed an ad hoc committee to address the uh, litter situation here in Anderson. And it's an issue across the state. And the county, Anderson County does a good job in, in getting out. We do once a year our, our big community-wide cleanup, but it's something that, that's got to be done on a regular basis, not once a year. And and he had has formed a committee with, I think, Chairman John, or John Wright Jr. is going to be the chairman of that committee, along with uh, Miss Cindy Wilson and also Mr. Mr. Glenn Davis. Mr. Glenn Davis. So uh, they will be working on some things of that nature. We actually had someone uh, that just moved uh, to Anderson County uh, speak tonight and glad to see people coming and getting involved in the council meetings and it's an issue that's near and dear to them and they're going to uh, be able to assist and work with the committee so I think um, we'll see some uh, changes on the litter coming coming soon I think the uh, National Association of Counties is also working on some stuff uh, maybe some stricter uh, fines or punishments so uh, we'll have to keep our eye out for that and, and keep pushing for it. Uh, also, I'd like to uh, thank our council members tonight. Uh, there was a request for council. Uh, there was uh, money uh, donated to the Anderson County YMCA for their uh, yearly rainbow, or uh, reindeer run. Yearly rain, their Sorry. yearly Sorry reindeer. For their yearly reindeer run. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, uh, money contributed for the Anderson YMCA's yearly reindeer run. Uh, there was also uh, a substantial amount that went to the United Negro College Fund for scholarships. Uh, there is a, a local citizen here in Anderson County that uh, feeds uh, the homeless at Christmas, and there was some uh, monies raised in for uh, His Grace Ministry. And they'll, they'll go, I think last year he fed 
I forgot how many people last year, and it, it's something that's continuing and growing, and I'm glad to see that our council and administration steps up and, and supports things of that nature. So I appreciate everyone uh, tuning in tonight, um, and hope everyone has a great holiday season. <laughs>